Today I want to share a combination post here, creative process and vacation process. Now the first thing I am doing when I am looking through my album is selecting what pictures I want to scrapbook with. And in this case, I, I decide I'm going to go with Mickey Mouse because, you know, it all started with a mouse, right? So once I have pulled my pictures out of the album, and you'll notice I left one, that's because it's actually a duplicate. I actually had two of them printed. But I pull them out, and I kind of get a sense of, okay, where are we going? Two pages, one page, what are we doing here? And that's when I try to figure out what I think my base is going to be. And you see a really cool piece of American Crafts paper from their chap line underneath there. And I'm flipping through some coordinations, dotted cardstock, because I'm thinking that some of that cardstock might be a good choice to mix with my Mickey Mouse photos. I'm thinking red and blue. So I go ahead and get it out and I lay out my photos on there and you're gonna see this is actually not at all what I'm gonna end up going with once I get my photos on there and see what it is that I really want I'm gonna go more in this direction which is a black piece of coordination cardstock which is also dotted and some Jenny Bolin paper actually in a moment now what I'm doing here is tearing the edges and I would normally do this with my Tim Holtz ruler I've actually cropped and placed my photos there the problem being uh, <laughs> I can't find where my Tim Holtz ruler is so I'm using a piece of 6x6 six six acrylic it, it works you know what it gets it done so that's what you get to see there and you see I still I really want to make that American crafts paper work but it's just not quite right the right paper is that Jenny Bolin red black and cream new paper that you see back there and I would have never gone to Jenny Bolin for a Mickey Mouse page I just wouldn't have thought it for a new Mickey Mouse page at least but you know what it really worked and here you see me I'm just sanding uh, some of the embossed dots so that they will stand out a little better in my layout and you know the Mickey Mouse embellishment it's over the top that's the only reason I put that picture right in there is that you know what it's just more than I need all right, so now we're stitching on the layout, and the reason for the stitching, I stitched right on the black part, but I did not stitch the black cardstock onto the pattern paper. I stitched it first, and then adhered it onto the background where I wanted it. So now that I've got my setup, and I know I'm not going to do a lot of journaling on this page, it's just really not a heavy journaling page. Now I'm working on my title, and I wanted to use black letters and I wanted to go with some red and cream underneath some ribbon to kind of tie things through and kind of fill up that space so I've got I I'm using a dry adhesive here because I know that I can stitch that ribbon on and I intend to stitch over my title letters and make that all real secure so I'm not real worried with that tape runner if it's gonna permanently stick or not because it just needs to temporarily hold that until I stitch it on and I'm also going to add actually one of those blue stars from the Mickey Mouse packaging the theme sticker packaging at the end because I, I thought a splash of blue would be nice too in here now you can see the stitching goes right over those letters or through the letters in some cases and it will make sure that they stay stuck now I'm kind of going over to the other side of the page where I'm trimming and adding things and journaling a little bit. I don't have a lot to say. We met Mickey Mouse. It was Epcot. You know, it's not like a big, long, epic story. It's pretty simple, actually. And I've scrapbooked Mickey Mouse before from other trips, so I didn't feel the need to go wild with my journaling. And you know what? Sometimes, especially in those vacation pages, sometimes that's a-okay. I mean, if you don't have a lot to say, let your picture shine. Let it be a pretty page in your vacation album. I have no problem with that. You know, and you can see I'm filling up that left side of the page over there because I just felt like there was just a little too much black space just kind of randomly hanging out there. And now I'm going in with my stickles here. And yes, that kind of abruptly, uh, yeah, we went from the one side into the other. Definitely did there because I'm just putting, you don't need to see it all. I'm just sticking dots of blue stickles. And the reason for the blue, again, you see there's some blue in those photos. So I'm kind of wanting to bring that out. I'm, I'm keeping the red, black, and white 
mostly. Just, you know, that's Mickey's classic colors. So I really didn't want to mess. It, it ended up being, you know, I just couldn't mess with Mickey and his classic colors too much. But that splash of blue ties it together, adds a little bit of contrast, and it'll add a little bit of sparkle too. So that's pretty much it. That's, I mean, this was a pretty quick page. I didn't go super heavy with techniques or anything. I just had a lot of fun with it. And as you can see, the finished page here, it looks nothing like what I was starting with, with the red and the bold blue. I went totally different direction. You know what? I like where it went. And I let my pictures and what was in them take me there. You know, I let my pictures be the star always. So if something's not doing that, I have no problem with changing. I also have no problem with looking way outside the themed box to see what exactly is going to be the perfect accompaniment for my photos and what is going to get my vacation stories told. While the band's playing one of your old